I'm Kathleen Kent, author of The Burn. And for the past few weeks, I've been practicing safe social distancing somewhere in Texas. And apart from having to visit with friends and family virtually, life has not been too bad. The Burn continues the story of Detective Betty Rizek, a transplant from the NYPD to the narcotic squad with the Dallas Police Department. When the book opens, Betty has recovered physically from her ordeal with her kidnappers in the dime, but she's experiencing PTSD and is thrown immediately into following the bloody tracks of a notorious cartel assassin known as the Knife. Early on, Betty makes some critical mistakes, which causes her to be assigned to desk duty, but she uses her street contacts and informants, a rogues gallery of unusual suspects which leads her to believe the cartel murders are actually being committed by a cop, possibly her own partner. I've been reading a lot of great fiction and non-fiction books the last few weeks, but I've picked out two that I particularly like. The first one is The Code Girls by Liza Mundy, and it is the untold story of the American women codebreakers of World War II. Because after all, who doesn't love a story of smart women solving mysteries? The second is the novel by Margaret Atwood Testaments, which is a follow-up to her book, Handmaid's Tale. I found this book disturbing and fascinating and just hope that we won't be finding this novel in the current affairs section of our local bookstore next year. I really enjoyed watching the Valhalla Murders, which is a police procedural set in Iceland. A group of grisly murders prompts a local investigator, a veteran female detective who's been recently passed over for a promotion, to join forces with a male investigator from Norway. It's moody, gripping, and best of all, it features a tough female cop. The rest of my time, when not working on my third Detective Betty book is devising methods for Betty that she needs to escape, like being tied with rope, or duct tape, or handcuffs. I like to up the ante with each successive book in the series, from putting Betty in a kidnapping situation with a group of meth-dealing cult members to being trapped in a burning building by a cartel assassin, or, well, you'll just have to read the third book to find out what happens next.